In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you three effects in After Effects that will help polish your work and make it look more professional. Hey, my name is Cameron with Motion Science, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the three effects that I love to use to finish every project I work on. These are three effects that are built into After Effects, so we all have them, and they can take your work up a notch. So whether you're a beginner or an advanced user, check out these three effects that you should be using. Okay, here we are in After Effects, and you can see here, I've got this preview going of a project I'm calling Line. This is a project from the Stylecraft course. And to make this project move along a little bit faster, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off depth of field so we can see everything nice and clear here, like we see here. So how I like to finish every project I work on is I use three effects over the top of everything. And how I do that typically is I go to layer, new, adjustment layer, and I like to call this effects. And the very first effect I like to apply is under effect, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. And typically I like to use a value of Gaussian blur between one and three pixels. So typically I'll start with a value of one and I'll look and see you know, is it making much difference? What I'm trying to do here is eliminate some of the harsh edges uh, of this being, you know, a digital art piece. So if I go from one to three, that's too much blur for me. Right there off the top, I can see it's too much blur. So then maybe I'll drop it back down to a two. That yeah, looks okay. Maybe I'll try a 1.5. Mm, there's a little bit too much aliasing happening here. So I'll go back to a two. And right off the top, that's looking better to me. So that's with blur and without. It's a very subtle change, but it's just enough to make this look less digital. You can really see it up in here. So if I zoom in here, if I turn the blur off, just look how crystal clear that is. And I don't want that, right? I want something that looks a little bit more organic. So that's why I'm applying blur here. So that's the first effect I apply is Gaussian blur. Next, I will go and I will apply glow. Now, typically I like to use a few different glows. Uh, some of my favorites are Sapphire, S Glow is a great one. Uh, but for this one, I'm gonna use Plug In Everything Deep Glow. And right off the top, it's overpowering. This is uh, something that I see a lot with Deep Glow. It's just a lot of glow right off the top. And I like to play around with typically the radius and the exposure. For this project, I found that just dropping the exposure down to about a 0.37, let's take it a little bit further down. It's always less is more on finishing touches like this. And if you can't really tell that there's a lot of glow happening here, that's really winning the cause for me. So that's with deep glow, that's without, uh, maybe even a little bit less. Yeah, so it's just enough to make it just a little bit more interesting. Let's actually go 0 0.05. And that's without, and that's with. And the third effect I like to add is under noise and grain, and we're gonna add grain. We can either add grain or we can add noise. It really just depends on the project uh, and how it's looking to be. And sometimes adding grain can do some funky things to the preview. And this is a great example of that happening. So I'm gonna delete, add grain. I'm gonna go to layer, new, adjustment layer. We're just gonna call this one grain. And to this one, we're going to apply add grain. Like I said, sometimes it just acts a little funky. I need to put it on its own adjustment layer. We'll change it from preview to final output. And we're gonna zoom in here and look. And right off the top, you can tell it's very subtle there, right? It's very, very subtle. Let's try a preset. Let's just try color negative two. There's a lot of grain there. I'm gonna open up color and I'm gonna select monochromatic because this is a black and white project and zoom out here. And let's drop the intensity to about 0.5, maybe even 0.3. Again, this is very subtle in the effects here, but it's the subtleties that make all the difference for a really finished piece. And let me add in one fourth effect. This is your bonus effect that I throw in on a lot of projects, but not all projects. And that is chromatic aberration. 
Two different plugins I like to use for this is plug in everything, quick chromatic aberration or sapphire distort warp chroma and apply that. And then we're actually even gonna turn this down just a, a hair. So we'll go from 0.97 to 0.99. And it's very, very subtle again. And let's go ahead and preview this. And that, my friends, is three plus one bonus effect that I use every single time to finish my projects in After Effects. I hope that you really enjoyed this lesson as much as I loved teaching it. So please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to this channel. It helps other people find this channel as well. If you're looking to upgrade your design skill set, master the art of style, and execute like a pro, I have a course called Stylecraft that you can check out at motionscience.tv. You can also learn more about this course by clicking the link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching. My name is Cameron, and this is Motion Science.